Hey there, this is John from Heroes and the Legends, and welcome to another edition of the Magic the Gathering Market Watch. There is so much happening today in the market. This is the biggest episode of the Market Watch I ever put together. So many cards are spiking. We're going to talk about all of it. So because there's so much, I'm going to be as brief as possible on each card today and move as fast as we can through everything. I'm not going to go into all the details I normally go into. There's just too much. So without any further ado, let's get into it. We're going to begin, as we always do, with standard in your top nine standard legal cards that have lost value this week. So in this section, you're going to see a lot of cards that have lost value due to recent reprintings, mostly cards that are in the 2020 Challenger deck. So let's see what's happening in standard. Number nine is Shifting Ceratops, down 44 cents to $1.50. I'm sure this will continue to see standard sideboard play this season. It's going to continue to see Pioneer, even Legacy play. However, there were three copies in the 2020 Challenger deck, Flash of Ferocity, which is why the card is soft. Number eight is Vraska, Golgari Queen, down 50 cents to 549. And this is another card that has seen some play in Modern, Legacy, and even Vintage at times. It's even seen some early standard play this season. But you can find one copy in the Final Adventure 2020 Challenger deck. Number seven is Rubble Bell to Wreck Loose. This is the one from Corset 2020, though. It goes down 51 cents to 195. And you can't find this one in Corset 2020 Draft Boosters. You can only get one copy of this in the Red Welcome deck. And that's why this card kind of jumps back and forth quite a bit. You don't have a lot of people taking apart those decks to sell the singles online. Number six is Absorb, the original one from Invasion, though. It goes down 51 cents to 827. And this is still going to see play in standard, I have no doubt, at least to some degree in control builds. Still see some Pioneer play, although the percentage play in Pioneer is down from where it was a few months ago. And I think that's why this card is softening up a little bit. Number five, Kenrith, the Return King. This is the non-foil copy. It goes down 71 cents to 428. Again, I'm sure this will continue to see play in Standard and Fires builds this season, but you can find one copy in the 2020 Challenger deck, Allied Fires. Number four is Watery Grave, the one from Ravnica City of Guilds, going down 96 cents to 1899. Now, there was one copy of the Guilds of Ravnica version of this card in the Fairy Schemes Brawl deck, and that was pretty heavily distributed, which is why this has become soft. Again, it will continue to see play in all the formats. Standard, Pioneer, Modern players are still going to need this card. Number three, Brazen Borrower. Good card here, going down $1.06 to $15.99. Why is that? I mean, already in the standard season, it's in a number of different builds. Modern, it's in Grixis Wars, and more decks there. It sees Legacy Play 2. But there was one copy of this in the 2020 Challenger deck, Flash of Ferocity. Number two, Embercleave, down $1.19 to $11.14. Another card that you know is going to see standard play in aggro decks this season, for sure. Pioneer, it's in Mono Red Aggro, Gruel Aggro. Sees a little Modern Play 2. But there's one copy of this in one of those 2020 Challenger decks, and this time it's Cavalcade Charge. Number one, Fabled Passage, down $1.50 to $12, seeing a ton of early standard play. I mean, this card always sees a lot of standard play. It will until it rotates out. Also sees a lot of Pioneer play. But this one was in not one, but two of the 2020 Challenger decks. You can find one copy in Final Adventure and one copy in Flash of Ferocity. All right, let's move on to your top five standard legal cards that have gained value this week. So standard's in a really weird place right now with Ikoria not truly being distributed yet. You have a lot of players sitting there waiting for these cards to come. And while they're waiting, they can play online, they can test decks, and they're coming to conclusions as to what decks they want to play. The companions are making a huge splash in that format and other formats, more on that later. And a lot of people have decided, okay, I'm going to go ahead and build a whole brand new deck around some of these new cards. So let me go ahead and purchase the cards online that I know that I'm going to need. Now you combine that with the fact that a lot of sellers have delisted their cards because they're not shipping things out currently, and you have a situation where the supply is low and the demand is high, so you are seeing some spikes. Not just in standard, you're going to see this throughout the video. And that leads to the fear of missing out, which is going to cause more spikes, because as people see cards going up and up and up, they try to jump in before it's too late. And they're going to pay a little more than maybe they wanted to pay to begin with. All right, so let's see what's going on in standard. Number five is Narset's Reversal. Now, this goes up 85 cents to 398. This one not really moving too much because of standard. I mean, it sure could see some standard play, no doubt. But this is really more about Brawl and really Commander. This is a fantastic Commander card, seeing tons of play in the format. This got a mention on the Command Zone podcast this week. And that's another thing that's driving prices. Content creators are talking all about new decks, new brews, upgrading those Commander 2020 decks, building around the new Commanders. So I'm not going to mention every card today that showed up in the Command Zone podcast or was on one of the other big content creators' websites or anything like that. But just know that a lot of the cards going up in value have been featured in a lot of content recently, too. This is an example of that. 
Number four is Croaks the Titan of Death's Hunger up at $1 to 1998. This is looking good in early brews. It looked pretty good at times last season. There's a Mardu Sacrifice build running four copies of this in the main. This also, of course, sees some Pioneer play. In Modern, you'll find it in Jund, Mardu Shadow, Rakdos Unearth, and more. And it's been seeing a fair amount of Brawl and Commander play, too. Number three is Breeding Pool. Ravnica Allegiance goes up $1.24 to $24.99. Dissension up $1.50 to $35. One of the hottest decks right now in the early standard format is the Gyruda Bant Midrange deck. And of course, being in Bant colors, players will need Breeding Pools for that deck. And that's part of the reason this card has gotten so hot recently. But it also sees playing Pioneer, Salt Eye Delirium, and more there. Modern, this is in Bant Snowblade, very popular deck there. And much more in that format, too. Number two is Smothering Tithe. This goes up $1.65 to $11.65. Now, there was a copy of this in the Fairy Schemes Brawl deck too, but basically this is such a hot Brawl and Commander card, and again, especially Commander, this card is still going up in value. Number one is Spark Double. It goes up $2.42 to $6.20. This is a card you're going to see a lot of in this new standard season, I have no doubt. It plays very well with two of the companions, one being Yori and Sky Nomad, but the other one is Guy Ruta, and like I said earlier, that deck just looks amazing right now. Because of that, I think this card's going to remain hot for the foreseeable future. There's some other brews using it too. I saw a Wolf deck, for example, running four copies of it. We'll have to see if that goes anywhere as well. All right, let's move on to Pioneer. And your top six Pioneer legal cards that have lost value this week. Number six, Gideon of the Trials. It goes down 64 cents to 1814. This is a card that has been climbing recently. So maybe it's not too surprising to see some retraction here. This is in Mono White Devotion and quite a few other decks too. Number five, Collected Company. It goes down 70 cents to 1867. So percentage-wise, this card has been down a little bit in Pioneer and Modern recently, so it's not too weird to see it losing value. But I do think it's poised to maybe see more Modern play. More on that in just a minute, but let's talk Pioneer first. This is in Banned Spirits and some other builds there, so it's not going to disappear. In Modern, it's in Heliod Devoted Company, which those decks were starting to see less play. But there is a new companion that could give them some life, and that's Loris of the Dream Den. As a matter of fact, that companion could give a lot of decks in Modern some new life. Right now, it's seeing a ton of play in Burn, Company decks, actually just about anywhere. And it's looking so good right now in the Modern format, as well as potentially Legacy and Vintage. But once we get into the Modern section, we'll talk more about that and the card that it combos most with. Number four is Knight of the White Orchid. This is the one from Shards of Alara. This goes down 77 cents to 696 this week. This is in Mono White Devotion, pretty solid deck. Has seen increased commander play recently too, with Sir Gwyn Hero of Ashvale being around, but it was reprinted in Commander 2020's Ruthless Regiment deck. Number three is Solemnity. This goes down 86 cents to $6. This spiked recently, so again, not too surprising to see retraction. A lot of people wanted to pick this card up to play with one of the new Ikoria cards, Luminous Broodmoth, because if you have these two cards in play and you sacrifice a creature to something like a Phyrexian Altar, for example, you would get the mana and the creature would come back. So you'd create an endless loop. Something you might see quite a bit of in Commander, maybe other formats as well. But this week the card does stabilize down a little bit. Number two is Supreme Verdict from Iconic Masters, down $1.18 to $10.58. A card that sees a lot of play again. This is in Lotus Breach, more decks in the format. In Modern, it's in Bant Snowblade, Niv to Light, and more there. Sees Legacy Play, it's a huge Commander card, but it did get reprinted in Mystery Boosters. Number one, another card that got reprinted in Mystery Boosters. This is Sliver Hive Lord from Magic 2015. It goes down $1.66 to $21.85. Great for those Sliver Commander decks. All right, let's move on to the top seven Pioneer legal cards that have gained value this week. Number seven is Walking Ballista, up $1.90 to $27.37. This has seen increased commander play with cards like Zerda and Cannon. Basically, those cards can create endless mana with something like Basalt Monolith, and this is something you can do with that mana. Prior to that, this saw more play with Heliod Sun Crowned, and that's not just in Commander, that's been happening, of course, in other formats too. In Pioneer, you'll find this in Salt Eye Delirium, Mono White Devotion, and more there. Modern Tron Builds and Amulet Titan play this, and more. Legacy and Vintage players could be interested in this card too. Number six is Alha Marat's Archive. This is the Mystery Boosters copy. It goes up 205 to 1310. So, Commander Life Gain decks have been popular recently, ever since Heliod, Daxos, and some of the other cards from Theros came out. This fits very well into those builds. This is also very good as an upgrade card to one of the Commander 2020 decks, the Timeless Wisdom deck. Add in the fact that these Mystery Booster copies are still trying to find their price point, and you have quite a jump this week. Number 5, another Mystery Booster card here. Perforos God of the Forge goes up 223 to 1709. Also, this has been reprinted recently in one of the Theros Stargazing Secret Layers, so 
There's a lot of new copies of this card coming out, but this one is trying to find its price point. Very popular Commander card recently. It has seen some increased play with a new card, Reconnaissance Mission. Now remember, the trigger doesn't work with Reconnaissance Mission, but the type of deck that Perforos is in wants to be an aggressive build, typically. So both of those cards fit into those kind of builds if they're playing red and blue. Number four, Cyclonic Rift. Sometimes you'll find this in Modern Mono Blue Tron, but it's one of the biggest Commander cards out there. Commander 2014 goes up 228 to 2994. Return to Ravnica goes up 282 to 2829. Ulamog, the Ceaseless Hunger, comes in at number three. It goes up 295 to 3999, and you'll find this in Mono Green Walkers and other decks in the format. Modern, this is in Tron Builds. It sees Legacy Play 2. And in Commander, it was recently pushed by Nyx Bloom Ancient. A lot of people were interested in those big mana decks when that card came out. So some of these big monsters, these Eldrazi, are going up in value partially because of that. Also, with the new set, there's a number of ways to cheat cards from the top-ish of your deck into play, and this is a good candidate for that, too. Number two is Omniscience. This is the one from Magic 2013. It goes up 318 to 1267. In Legacy, this card's pretty popular right now. Omnitel, Sneak and Show builds are doing really well on Magic Online. Also, this is a very big commander card. Number one is Aurelia the War Leader. This is the one from the Guilds of Ravnica Boros Guild Kit, though. Only can be found in foil. It goes up 589 to 1695. This is seeing a little increased commander play because Iroh's God of Victory was recently reprinted in one of the Theros Stargazing Secret Layers. And also, this is a fantastic mutate target. All right, on to modern. And your top six modern legal cards that have lost value this week. Coming in at number six is Mero Nar. This goes down a dollar or three to 1786. This is the one from Champions of Kamigawa, the original. So the Rats decks in Commander have been pretty popular recently because of the Year of the Rat release, and it also got reprinted in foil in WPN Mystery Boosters. So with those extra copies out there, this softens up a little bit. Number five, Sliver Legion, also going down a dollar or three to seventy-five dollars. So Commander Sliver decks have been really popular, really ever since Sliver Overlord got reprinted in Kaleidoscope Killers. This card just took off at that point. It's starting to retract now. Number four, Guilt Leaf Palace from Lorwyn. It goes down to $1.13 to $6. This was recently reprinted in Mystery Boosters, but it's a good commander card for elves builds or just your casual kitchen table elf deck. Number three, Send Triplets. This goes down to $1.15 to $39.95. This is the one from Alara Reborn. And yes, this was also recently reprinted in Mystery Boosters. This is one of the foils, though, in the WPN product. Prior to that, this card was super hot because it's just such a good commander card. Number two, speaking of good commander cards, Rees the Redeemed from Shadowmoor goes down $1.76 to $20.97. This card was also reprinted in Mystery Boosters and has been very expensive for a long time. Number one, Cephalid Constable. Judgment went down $2.32 this week to $6.56. Tenth edition went down $6.12 to $7.17. So this card spiked very aggressively last week. You're seeing big retraction this week, not too surprising. So the reason it went up is because of one of the new Commander 2020 cards. Otrimi the Ever Playful. If you mutate Otrimi on top of this, you have a 6 6 trample creature that, whenever it deals combat damage to a player, return up to that many target permanents that player controls to their owner's hand. Feels like that could be pretty fun in Commander, right? If nothing else. But because this was a card that isn't super difficult to find in a lot of people's binders and boxes, as soon as a lot of folks saw this spike, they went ahead and sold the cards, traded them. That increased inventory balanced things out a little bit. But the card's not going to go back down to where it was for sure. That's what happens with these spikes. All right, on to your top five modern legal cards that have gained value this week. So we're going to talk about a few cards here. There's more modern cards in the commander section that will come up too. And modern yet again finds itself in a weird place and went through the whole Oko thing. Now it's about to go through the whole Loris thing. I don't know if they're going to just go ahead and ban Loris or ban something else like Mishra's Bobble. But right now there's a lot of turbulence in the format. So let's see what's happening. Number five is Scytherix, the Blight Dragon, more of a commander card here. It goes up $6.55 to $40.99, though, quite a jump. And this originally was seeing some increased play with the Ur-Dragon reprint from Kaleidoscope Killers. But now with Mutate, this makes a fantastic Mutate target. Number four is Verdant Catacombs. This is the one from Zendikar. It goes up $6.95 to $6.850. All of the enemy fetches are going up in value right now to some degree. There's two on this top five that we're going to see, but just know all of them have been increasing. So I won't go through the whole story. I've talked about it for a number of weeks now on the Market Watch, but the main reason these have been going up recently is because of shipping delays. We don't know when reprints are going to be coming. Wizards did promise more reprints of these things, but will they come this year? We don't know now. 
Also, a lot of players got sticker shock when they saw what people were asking for those Secret Lair Ultimate Editions. And I think a lot of folks just said, forget it, I'm going to go and buy the older copies of the cards now because I need them for decks or what have you. So keep an eye on these. They will grow more before they stabilize. Number three is another one, Misty Rainforest from Modern Masters 2017. It goes up $746 to $89. Number two is a two casting cost card, so it could play with Luris. This is Ren in six. It goes up $894 to $6152. This is banned in Legacy, however, keep in mind. But it does see a lot of play in Modern. John did many other decks there. Sees a little vintage play too. And it could be seeing more play with cards like Luris around. Number one, Avacyn Angel of Hope goes up $1043 to $4409. This is the original from Avacyn Restored. And this has always been a fantastic Commander card. So he's playing a lot of different builds. But now it is seeing some more play with a card from Commander 2020, Cathrell Aspect Warper. You're going to find that card in the Symbiotic Swarm deck. All right, on to the Vintage Spotlight. This is where we talk about cards that see play in Vintage, Legacy, 93, 94, or cards that are just popular among collectors. And this is a good time to mention there are a lot of buyouts going on. I see a lot of spec cards being purchased, a lot of reserve list cards, and again, with less inventory out there in the marketplace, it's easy to buy out certain cards and then go ahead and relist them at high prices to make it look like there's a dramatic increase. If you do want to buy a card and you want to know what it's truly worth, Go to eBay and look at sold and completed listings. There you're going to find recent sales and real time what people are buying. Sometimes buy it nows are a little more expensive because people will pay for the convenience and not have to wait for an auction to end. But keep an eye on auctions versus buy it nows. You'll get a better feel for what the cards are truly going for. But with that being said, let's see what's happening. We'll start off with a revised dual land. Of course, on the reserve list, it's Plateau. It goes up 708 to 12045 this week. Chrome Mox Eternal Masters goes up 271 to 5589. Mirrodin goes up 770 to 5593. Great card for competitive commander, great card for legacy. Tundra, another revised dual land here. This is on the reserve list again. It goes up 834 to 249 this week. Mana Drain from Iconic Masters goes up 997 to 13898. It's another great card for competitive commander. Sees a little vintage play too. Hazazan Tamara, this is on the reserve list and has quite a spike this week, going up 1189 to 12825. Mana Crypt, this was reprinted in Mystery Boosters, but that's not stopping this card apparently. Media Promo goes up 226 to 269.99. That's the original copy from the book giveaway. The Mystery Boosters copy, trying to find its price point, going up 1458 to 147.43. Although the Eternal Masters copy was going down slightly this week. This is a good vintage card and also sees a lot of commander play. Grim Monolith on the reserve list goes up 1898 to 15525. I've said for a long time I felt like this card was undervalued and at some point it was going to start going up. This is another card that sees legacy play and a ton of commander play. Vampiric Tutor, check this out. Eternal Masters up 472 to 95 dollars. Visions up 1354 to 88 dollars. 6th edition up 2771 to 9495. So granted, competitive commander has gotten a lot more popular. Tutors are going to be almost essential for those decks, right? So that is part of the reason many of these tutors like this one have been drying up. But obviously, again, you have a situation where inventory is a little tighter. And on top of that, this feels like a buyout. This is one of those examples where somebody saw the card starting to dwindle in the marketplace and thought, okay, let's pick up a bunch of them. And I think that's what you might be seeing here. But it is an awesome card, obviously, not only for Commander, but Vintage as well. All right, the next three cards we're going to look at are all Arabian Nights cards that are on the reserve list. They've been pretty stable for the most part recently, but again, it looks like there's a lot of activity in the market. City in a Bottle goes up $50.63 to $300. Pyramids goes up $183.65 to $319.58. So this card has really dried up, and you have people asking really high prices. That's why you're seeing jumps like this. When you have a card that doesn't see a lot of sales in good condition, a lot of your big websites, they have to fall back on what people are asking as opposed to what the cards are actually selling for. And that's why you see these weird anomalies like this. So again, just be smart. Do your research before you buy a card. And the third one, Juzam Jin. This goes up three fifty eight seventeen this week to $2,195.94. Also, if you pay attention to Unlimited Power 9, I didn't put these two cards on the watch this week because it's really heavy market manipulation. But Black Lotus and Time Twister both had huge jumps. Again, it doesn't mean the prices of those cards have truly jumped up that much, but there's less inventory out there and people are asking really high prices. Sometimes people put a ridiculous price out there just to see if they control for some offers. And yeah, that's fine, but it can skew the data too. 
All right, down to the Commander Spotlight. This section is huge this week, so I'm not going to be able to talk much about these cards. I usually like to tell you a little bit about the cards, where they see play, so on and so forth. I will still do that for some of them that are relevant, especially with some of the newer cards. But for the most part, I'm going to go really fast through a lot of these. Again, there's a fair amount of buyouts, so remember that as we navigate through these prices. And also, piece of news that came out on Monday, there was a banning in Commander, and of course, that was the card Flash which is going to impact everybody's favorite deck, Sushi Hulk, and Competitive Commander. So you would think that would mean many of those cards would be going down in value, but actually a lot of them are still going up in value. And I think it's just because that deck is still going to be good without Flash. You can make some tweaks and changes to it. And it could be very strong, actually, maybe not as explosive. And secondly, those cards that are in those decks are also in a lot of other Competitive Commander decks, including the Partner Commanders. You'll find them in other places, too. So... Just keep that in mind as we go through today, and here we go. Cryptic Command also sees play in Modern, of course. It goes up $1.02 to twenty three seventy four. This is the one from Lorwyn. Toxic Deluge, this also sees Vintage and Legacy play, but it's a big Commander card. The one from Eternal Masters goes up $1.02 to twenty five ninety eight. Cloudstone Curio, classic Commander card. A lot of people like to play this one with Dockside Extortionist. It goes up $1.02 to thirty six seventy four. Worm Coil Engine from Commander 2014 also sees modern play, of course, too, and some legacy and vintage play as well. But it's a great commander card. Goes up a dollar oh three this week to twenty two seventy one. Sakashima the Imposter. This is the mystery booster copy. So again, trying to find its price point. It goes up a dollar oh six to nine dollars. This has seen increased play though. It got Ruta Doom of Depths, one of the new cards from Ikoria. Another mystery booster card here with Salvala, Heart of the Wilds. It goes up a dollar oh six to twenty seven ninety nine. Now, of course, this is a fantastic card in those big mana decks that have been pushed recently by Nyx Bloom Ancient. But also, there's a new card from Commander 2020's Enhanced Evolution deck that's pushing this a little bit too, and that's Sixara the Exemplary. Shieldred Whispering One, Iconic Masters up $1.03 to $20.85. New Phyrexia up $1.10 to $20.46. Again, this card is seeing some increased play because of some new cards. Things like Death's Oasis and Aerie Ultimatum have made this better in Commander. Urborg Tomb of Yawgmoth, of course, this sees Pioneer, Modern, Legacy, Vintage play, but also very popular in Commander. Ultimate Masters goes up a dollar to twenty four fifteen. Planar Chaos goes up a dollar ten to twenty two ninety. Gemstone Caverns, this sees a little modern play and a fair amount of Commander play. It goes up a dollar twelve to twenty three thirty two. Expropriate, the one from Mystery Boosters, goes up a dollar fifteen to twenty four seventy four. Huge Commander card. Lotus Cobra from Zendikar goes up a dollar sixteen to twelve thirty two. Sees a lot of play in Lands builds. And remember, Karametra God of Harvest was recently reprinted in one of the Theros Stargazing Secret Layers. Mycosynth Lattice Battle Bond goes up $1.09 to twenty seven ninety nine. Darksteel up $1.16 to thirty two thirty seven. This has seen increased commander play recently with reprints of Duretti, Scrap Savant, and Send Triplets. Also, this does see Legacy and Vintage play too. Blood Chief Ascension up $1.17 to thirteen eighty three. This has seen more play since Croaks has come out. Anointed Procession goes up $1.17 to eighteen ninety nine. There's a number of cards from Ikoria and Commander 2020 that create tokens. This will see additional Commander play, no doubt. Wasteland from Eternal Masters, it goes up $1.17 to twenty eight sixty. This sees Vintage Legacy play and also a lot of Commander play. Alenda, the Dusk Rose, goes up $1.20 to eleven ninety seven. This is seeing increased play right now with Fiend Artisan, Aerie Ultimatum, Death's Oasis, and more cards from Ikoria. Arachnogenesis goes up $1.20 to $13.37. Very solid commander card that has been drying up. Remember, many times this sees playing the same deck as Wart the Raid Mother, which was recently reprinted in Commander 2020's Arcane Maelstrom deck. Rings of Bright Hearth, classic commander card here from Lorwyn. It goes up $1.22 to $49.05. Lord of the Undead from 9th Edition goes up $1.24 to $13.34. Fantastic, of course, for zombie builds. Bloom Tender, this is the one for Mystery Boosters. It goes up a dollar twenty-four to thirty dollars. A fantastic commander card. Again, trying to find its price. Teferi's Protection, also for Mystery Boosters, one of the best white cards out there in Commander. It goes up a dollar twenty-six to thirty-two seventy-four. Gemstone Mine from Time Spiral. You'll find this in Modern Legacy, but it also sees some Commander play. It goes up a dollar twenty-eight to ten seventy-three. Mystical Tutor Mirage goes up a dollar oh eight to eleven ninety-nine. Eternal Masters goes up a dollar twenty-five to fourteen seventy-three. Signature Spellbook Jace goes up $1.29 to $13.99. Like I said earlier, some of these tutors do see vintage play, but they're very important for competitive commander. And there's more coming. Linvala, Keeper of Silence, the one from Rise of the Eldrazi. It goes up $1.30 to twenty two eighty four. popular in Angel builds. Ugin the Spirit Dragon goes up $1.30 to sixty two ninety eight. You'll find this in Pioneer, Modern, Legacy. It's also a big commander card. 
Penman's Aura. This goes up $1.31 to $13.38. This card has been very hot because it is part of a two-card combo that gives you infinite mana. The other card is from Commander 2020. It's Ixara the Exemplary. City of Brass. It sees modern play. It sees legacy play, but it's a huge Commander card. Modern Masters goes up $1.29 to $15.82. Sixth edition up $1.36 to $13.19. It's a comma primal calamity. You can play fair with this and it's a good card. You can play unfair with this and it's a good card. It goes up $1.41 to $23.03. Splinter Twin. This does see a little commander play, and I know I said I wouldn't spend too much time pointing out which cards were featured by content creators, but there was a video the professor did all about this card this week. It brought some attention to it. Modern Masters 2015 goes up $1.21 to $9.60. Rise of the Eldrazi up $1.45 to $10.10. Magus of the Moon. This is the iconic Masters copy. It goes up $1.45 to $18.18. Now, this one is moving, I think, more because of Modern than anything. You're going to find this in Grow Midrange decks, which are popular right now. They run four of these typically. They also tend to run three copies of Clothis God of Destiny. This sees Legacy play as well. But in Commander, it has seen some increased play considering Perforos God of the Forge has been reprinted twice recently. Edgar Markov, popular vampire commander only found in foil, goes up $1.50 to $16.99. Waste Not, this is the one from Commander 2016. It goes up $1.56 to $9. This has seen increased play recently with Kroxa. Thrumming Stone up $1.59 to $36.60. If you have a card that can break the one card rule in Commander, this is there for you. Most recently, a lot of people wanted this because the Year of the Rat Secret Layer came out. Rat decks, of course, have Rat Colony, which do break that rule. Vile Smasher the Fierce has seen more play recently because of an Ikoria card. Obosh the Prey Piercer, one of those companions. This is only found in foil. It goes up $1.60 to $15.76. Mox Opal, this is the one from Scars of Mirrodin. It goes up $1.61 to $53.47. Of course, this sees Legacy and Vintage play, but it's a big Commander card, especially in Competitive Commander. Rezaketh, the Foul-Blooded, goes up $1.74 to $14.99, and this is seeing increased play because of Fiend Artists and another card from Ikoria. Basalt Monolith from Commander 2013, it goes up $1.87 to $9.35. All of these have been hot recently, this is the only one still moving up a lot this week though, and initially they heated up because there's two creatures from Ikoria that can create an Endless Mana Loop with this card. I mentioned them earlier, Kinnon and Zerda. Here's another Tutor, Cruel Tutor, this time up $1.88 to $44.27. Force of Negation, you might think of this one as a modern or legacy or even vintage card, but with more people playing competitive commander, this is feeling more and more like a commander card all the time. It goes up $1.90 to $35.76. Phyrexian Altar, I mentioned already the combo with this card. Invasion goes up $1.14 to $30.05. Ultimate Masters up $1.92 to $29.99. Earthcraft on the reserve list, it goes up $1.96 to $55.22. Reese the Redeemed was reprinted recently in Mystery Boosters. A lot of cards that play well with that card have been going up, like this one. Kalia of the Vasque was up $1.97 to $33.19. This is the one from Commander. And this is a very popular card, just generally. And it has seen some increased play ever since the Ur-Dragon came out in the Killer Kaleidoscope Secret Layer not too long ago. Archangel Thune from Iconic Masters up $2 to $22.48. So this sees Pioneer play, but it's also seen more Commander play because of Heliod and Daxos and some of those other life gain cards from Theros. Cardora Ghost Chieftain, this goes up 202 to 1399. Another card that has seen increased play because of some of the new cards that care about the graveyard, things like Death's Oasis. Urza Lord High Artificer, you know this is a big modern card, obviously. It sees Legacy and Vintage play too, but it's also a very big competitive commander card. It did see increased play not too long ago with Emery Lurker of the Lock coming out. It goes up 214 to 3803. Demonic Tutor, another tutor, good one. Ultimate Masters goes up 141 to 3386. Mystery Boosters up 216 to $30.79. Blade Steel Colossus. This goes up 216 to $60.19. Now, this has been popular again because those big mana decks have been popular, but this is going to be a great card with Mutate too. Concordant Crossroads. Chronicles up $1.33 to 2250. Yup, Chronicles. Legends goes up 227 to 10870. Solid commander card, great in those creature-centric green decks. Dark Confidant, another card you always thought more modern, legacy, vintage, but again, with competitive commander, it's seeing a lot of play there. Modern Masters 2015 up $1.57 to $45. Ravnica City of Guilds up $1.88 to $47.06. Modern Masters up $234 to $47.29. Hunting Grounds, this goes up $251 to $18.69. This has been popular because it has dried up. Maybe partially it was a targeted buyout but it does play well with some of the big creatures from Ikoria and Commander 2020. Uba Mask up 252 to 499. This has a pretty sweet combo with Dranith Magistrate from Ikoria. It locks your opponents out of any cards they draw if the combo's in play. 
Consecrated Sphinx. This is already a huge commander card. However, remember the Locust God was just reprinted in the Timeless Wisdom Commander 2020 deck, which plays well with this. And also there's a new card in that deck, Shabraz the Sky Shark, that will play well with it. Mirrodin Besiege goes up at $1.51 to twenty one forty three. dollars Iconic Master is up two fifty two to twenty two fifty six. Ancient Tomb Tempest goes up two forty five to thirty one ninety nine. Ultimate Master is up two fifty three to thirty one seventy five. You'll find this in Legacy and Vintage decks, but it's also a huge commander card too. Foreign Clax Voice of Hunger increased play because of the big mana decks again, but this is just a strong card on its own. New Phyrexia goes up a dollar thirty three to twenty one ninety nine. Iconic Master is up two fifty four to twenty three forty nine. Intuition from Tempest, this one is on the reserve list, but it did get reprinted as a judge promo and foil before they close that loophole. It goes up 259 this week to 4939. And this is going to be good with the new Ikoria Cardiary Ultimatum. Also, it does see Legacy playing Omnitel and Sneak and Show Builds too, which I said earlier are popular. Sylvan Library, another really good card for Legacy, Vintage, or Commander. Legends goes up $1.28 to 10134. Eternal Masters up $1.63 to 4402, fifth edition up 282 to 3844. Mox Diamond on the reserve list, but it did get reprinted in front of the Vault Relics and Foil again before the loophole was closed. It goes up 286 to 27785. Great card for Legacy, great card for Commander. Enlightened Tutor, here's another tutor. This is from Eternal Masters. It goes up 307 to 3953. Exquisite Blood, great combo card with Sanguine Bond. This goes up 320 to 3647. Sensei's Divining Top from Eternal Masters, up 326 to 4354. You see this in Legacy, Vintage, it's a huge commander card. And it is going to be even better with some of those Ikoria cards. I want you to cheat something from the top-ish of your deck into play. Power Artifact on the reserve list, Classic Commander card, goes up 327 to 150, 73. Angel's Grace, this sees modern play, but it does see a fair amount of competitive commander play, really ever since Thassa's Oracle has been in the format. Time Spiral up $1.64 to $14.14. Modern Masters up $3.40 to $16.20. Skullbriar, The Walking Grave. This card's been hot for a while. Commander goes up $2.10 to $17. Commander Anthology Volume 2 goes up $4.01 to $17.99. So this will see more Commander play definitely with some of the cards from Ikoria and Commander 2020 that care about counters of various kinds. Yogmoth's Whale from Urza Saga on the reserve list, but it did get a Judge promo and foil again before the loophole closed. It goes up $4.15 to $76.15. And this sees Vintage play and a fair amount of Commander play too in decks like Carrick, Son of Yawgmoth. Pact of Negation, another card that you see many times in Modern, but it's seeing more and more play in Commander. Future Sight goes up $1.41 to $25. Modern Masters up $2.70 to $24.43. Masters 25 up $4.27 to $24. Doubling Season at Coria and Commander 2020 are bringing us a lot of cards that care about plus one plus one counters or care about creature tokens. So, Doubling Season is hot again. Ravnica City of Guilds goes up $1.85 to $56.15. Battle Bond up $2.59 to $54.80. Modern Masters goes up $4.27 to $58.37. Food Chain. This is a card that's seeing more play because of the partner commanders in the Enhanced Evolution deck. Those are Kazur Ruthless Stalker and Yukima Stalking Shadow. Because of them, Food Chain is going up $4.33 this week to $49.35. Winds of Change. This is the one from 5th edition going up $4.40 to $11.98. Now this copy dried up, but it is because there is true demand out there. Again, the Locust God was reprinted in Timeless Wisdom. This is also another card that's good with Shabras the Sky Shark. And this is good with Z-Riz the Writhing Storm from Arcane Maelstrom. Cavern of Souls, do you like to play tribal decks? Is it legal in the format you're playing? Then you probably want this card. Evison Restored goes up $1.22 to $55. Ultimate Masters up $3.11 to $57.75. Modern Masters 2017 goes up $4.45 to $55.26. Force of Will, great in Vintage, great in Legacy, great in Competitive Commander. Alliances up 401 to 99.99. Eternal Masters up 488 to 111.80. Ulamog, the Infinite Gyre, another one of these big creatures that is going up for some of the same reasons I mentioned earlier. Rise of the Eldrazi up 448 to 38.09. Modern Masters 2015 goes up 515 to 3612. Survival of the Fittest on the reserve list, but to get a Judge promo and foil printing, it goes up 525 to 9422. And again, this is showing up in some competitive decks and has seen some increased play because of a new card as well. Tyam Luminous Enigma. Cursed Totem. This sees a little commander play. Mirage goes up 226 to 1326. Sixth edition goes up 529 to 1799. Season Pyromancer. I think this is one of the cards that could be getting a bump because of Loris, which I mentioned earlier. This also is in those Gruel midrange decks that are popular and modern and see some legacy play too. And there's other cards in Commander that will play well with this too that are new. Rael the Everwise and Winota Joiner of Forces. Those are both from Ikoria. 
This goes up 569 this week to 1505. There is Mishra's Bobble. Of course, this is moving because of Loris. These cards just combo together to create an engine where you're drawing two cards per turn. And I think in modern, maybe even in some other formats, one of those two cards will most likely be getting a banning. But anyway, right now, Iconic Master's copy of this goes up 216 to 1030. Cold Snap goes up 220 to 1192. Mystery Booster's up 586 to $11. Now the big Eldrazi here. Kozilek Butcher of Truth Ultimate Masters goes up 241 to 4195. Rise of the Eldrazi up 382 to 3788. Modern Masters 2015 up 593 to 3999. Micaeus, the Unhallowed. This is the one from Ultimate Masters going up 611 this week to $30.93. Another card that is seeing some increased play with Fiend Artisan from Ikoria. Nexus of Fate only can be found in foil. It goes up 619 this week to 2124. This does see some modern play, of course, and Simic Reclamation and more, but it also has seen increased commander play with Calamax the Stormfinder from Commander 2020. Mana Vault, huge commander card here, sees Vintage Play 2, Ultimate Masters up 382 to 4999, revised up 646 to 3973. Worldly Tutor, I have a feeling this one's getting reprinted sooner than later, although with all the delays and stuff, who knows when that will be. But this week it's going up, Mirage goes up 298 to 2314, 6th edition up 667 to 2702. Sliver Queen, on the reserve list, great for Sliver Commander decks, it goes up 821 to 10820. Diabolic Intent, good tutor, especially in sacrifice builds. Battle Bond goes up 749 to 2508. Plane Shift goes up 896 to $26. Sylvan Tutor from Portal going up a lot this week, 959 to 6378. Land Tax, fantastic card in white for Commander. Battle Bond goes up $1.47 to 3399. Fourth edition up 216 to 2897. Battle Royale goes up 987 this week to 3859 as that one dries up in the marketplace. Thrashios, Triton Hero, only found in foil, you know him, you love him. Of course, this is one of the partner commanders in the most popular version of Sushi Hulk. And so like I said, I guess the deck's not dead yet. This card's going up a lot, even with the banning of Flash. It goes up 1184 to 6559, but still, this is in a lot of other builds too. Another card that's benefiting from the light counter strategy coming from Ikoria and Commander 2020, it's the Tracks of Praetor's Voice. Both of these are only in foil. Commander 2016 up 1133 to $50.45. Commander Anthology Volume 2 goes up 1552 to 4901. Timna the Weaver, here's that other partner commander for Sushi Hawk. This is only in foil. It goes up $20.85 this week to 5797. Wheel of Fortune. Now, a lot of the cards on this end of the list are probably, at least in part, a targeted buyout. This one definitely feels like a buyout. Unlimited goes up $25 to 325, but Revised goes up $122.70 to 23744. Now, with that being said, this is a fantastic card. It's on the reserve list. After this copy and revised, though, it did get one more printing as a judge foil. And beyond that, it sees a lot of commander play, especially in competitive commander. It combos with things like Lion's Eye Diamond and Thassa's Oracle to perhaps steal a game. Now, there's new cards making it better, like Zira's The Writhing Storm, Rael the Everwise, Brawlin's Sky Shark Rider, and Shabra's the Sky Shark, for example. It's time for the Popper Spotlight. What's going on in Popper? A lot of mystery booster cards still trying to find their price point. Here's Preordain. It goes up 10 cents to 242. Big commander cards. These play in Popper Delver Fairies, Demir Control. Also sees Legacy and Vintage play too. Utopia Sprawl. This one's from Dissension though. It goes up 10 cents to 351. You'll find this in Hexproof builds. In Modern, it sees playing Grill Midrange and more there. And it's a good commander card too. Snap. Here's one from Mystery Boosters again up 11 cents to 57 cents. This is in Delver Fairies. Azorius Flicker, Mono Blue Tempo, and more. And this has seen some additional commander play too, with things like Twinning Staff coming from Commander 2020's Arcane Maelstrom deck. Essence Warden from Mystery Boosters goes up 15 cents to 72 cents, and you'll find this in Popper Elves and more. Good in Commander Elves builds too. Lightning Bolt from, you guessed it, Mystery Boosters. It goes up 20 cents to $1.50. You'll find this in Boros Aggro, Burn, Mardu Aggro, and more in the format. Of course, this also sees modern legacy, vintage play, commander play as well. All right, time for the premium spotlight. As I say every week, I don't like to spend too much time on rare cards like promos and foils because when you look at online pricing, especially right now with those big sellers being closed, you sometimes get bad data. The data can be skewed. It can be easily manipulated. But I like to try to find a couple cards that feel like they're maybe somewhat moving naturally. It was hard this week. I did see a lot of cards jumping, but they did feel like buyouts and market manipulation. But I did pick two to take a glance at. 
Uba Mask is the first one. The foil from Champions of Kamigawa is going up thirteen fifty one this week to thirty two dollars. And Hunting Grounds, the foil from Judgment is going up fifteen eighty four to forty dollars and forty one cents. All right, guess what? We made it. This was a long one. My voice is feeling it. But thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking this out. Until next time, please remember to like and subscribe and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon and have a great day.